you should go on a detox. You've probably heard this before. You've probably seen so many ads about detoxing, take this supplement, do this, do that. What should you do? Should you go on a celery cleanse? Should you stop eating altogether? Should you just eat soups? Should you just have smoothies? Should you take this supplement, that supplement, this juice, that juice? Take this unknown herb that no one's ever heard of and it will help you detox everything out of your body. What should you do? What is a detox? I thought I'll look into this for you. This is why I'm doing today's video, today's podcast, to cover what is a detox, what are the channels of elimination, and then, like always, I've got you, and I'm going to give you three tips that you can use right now to ensure that you are detoxing well, because I'm confused, so I can just imagine how confused you would be about this whole detox thing. Let's get into it. It's Mondays with Mahela. That's right, me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love and appreciate your support. For any of you whose first time it is got coming on YouTube, coming onto this podcast, my name is Mahela and I'm a qualified naturopath. I'm passionate about all things health, business, and overall success. And that is why I'm providing you these videos so you can have optimal health. Well, you know what? Today's topic is so interesting and I love it. What is detox? With the new year, with the first few months into the new year, everyone's talking about detoxing. Everyone wants to detox. We've heard it everywhere. Everywhere we turn around, there's that supplement, there's that supplement, there's this, that. Everyone's coming up with the newest thing about how to detox. But did you know that our body can detox itself? It does it. Without it, we wouldn't be alive. That's what I want to talk about today. So, you know what, all those things that I've spoken about, all those supplements and all that things, I don't know if it's gonna help detox you, but it's definitely gonna detox your wallet. And we don't want that. We want simple things that were simple, sustainable, savvy things that we can implement right now. You know, just taking a detox shake is not detoxing. I wanna get it straight out there. Just taking a detox shake is not detoxing. It is so much more complex than that. Detoxification is the process by which the body eliminates toxic substances in order to maintain homeostasis, optimal health. That is the most simple definition of detox that you can get. So wanna, before we get into it, I want to ask you a few questions. And in your mind, just go yes, no, yes, no. And if you say more to yes than no, there may be an issue. Do you experience fatigue? brain frog, fog, brain fog, <laughs> depression, anger, muscular tension, joint pain, headaches, migraines, bloating, burping, flatulence, fluid retention, bad breath, bad odor. Any of those, there are so many more, but any of those, if you said yes to any of those, your body may not be detoxing as well as it should be. These are all signs that your body detoxification process, it's not at its best. It's not functioning at its best, or it is being bombarded with so many toxins that it is clogged up. These are just some of the things. So how does the body detox? How does it eliminate those toxic substances from the body to maintain a balance? To understand that, we need to look at the channels of elimination. You know what? We seem to forget that our body has its own detox system. We seem to underestimate our body and think that it cannot detox by itself, that it needs our help. Yes, okay, maybe it does. And maybe it does because you're living in the city. Maybe it does because you're eating junk food. Maybe it does because you have, you're bombarding your body with medication, with foods, with pesticides, and things like that, toxic substances. Maybe it does need your assistance. But overall, simply, our body detoxifies by itself through these channels of elimination. Which, so, so the process of detoxification involves the liver and gallbladder, which work with other organs to filter through the substances and remove them via the detox phases in the liver. 
our kidneys, our kidneys, our lovely kidneys, they filter out waste substances, move it out of the body. Our beautiful digestive system removes what is no longer needed via the colon. Our beautiful skin, all of that, the biggest organ on our body, our skin, we seem to forget about it. The largest organ in the body provides us with a barrier against harmful substances such as viruses, bacteria, heavy metals and toxins. It's a huge defense system. All this, you don't think it's a defense system, but it is. Our skin just does so many beautiful things that we underestimate it for. Our lungs, breathing in and out, assists with expelling small particles from the airways in mucus. Our beautiful lymphatic and circulatory system eliminates excess toxins via the lymph and the blood. Our immune system, it's designed to recognize foreign materials, toxic materials, and eliminate them via our body. So that's those are the processes of elimination. That's what in, what's involved in detox. It is so complicated. Like I said, it's not as simple as just drinking celery juice or just taking one supplement. There is so much to it. And our body does that every single minute, every single day on a cellular level. If you have had that extra junk food, inhaled that polluted air, drank that alcohol, ate that processed food, smoked, haven't exercised, had a sedentary lifestyle, had an infection in your body. Your body needs help as it's faced with a lot of detoxing. And it is normal that all of this is too much for it. So there's, there's only so much your body can deal with. And then it needs assistance. It needs the help to eliminate these toxins. And that's where most of us are at. So the way I think about it, what I spoke about is drinking too much alcohol, eating these polluting airs. Just think about this. Think about a highway, right? Think about it's got three lanes. This highway has got three lanes with no cars on it or hardly any obstructions, it just flows. And that's our body with detoxing, it just flows. The kidneys does its thing, the lymphatic system does its thing. However, what happens then is five trucks come on and the trucks is all that junk food. It's a little bit congested. With those five trucks, you've got the polluted air, which is an additional 20 cars on there. Gets a bit congested, doesn't it? And then what happens is, let's say a semi-trailer, another huge truck comes on and that's you not exercising. And then an accident occurs and that's you inhaling the polluted air or even eating those pesticides or eating those colorings, those flavorings, that's an accident. So from those three lanes, only two are operating now. And then what happens is you start smoking. So there's another car accident. So you've only got one lane now. It's just congested. So what you need to do is you need to come in, you need to help clear that pathway, you need to come in clear this highway so your body is able to flow again, those cars can go through again. That's as simple as I can look at it and I can explain it to you. So what can you do? What can you do right now to ensure you clear that highway, you clear your body's um, process so it's able to detox at its best. So my question is, how do we ensure these systems, our kidneys, bladder, lymphatic system, circulatory system, immune system are working the way they are meant to and what do we need to do about it? There are so many things you can do. I will talk about three things that you can implement today that's going to help you clear that highway and to help you make those systems just work in a much better and much more congruent way. So the first one I want to talk about is water. Yes, water. Water is just key to life. We need to have good quality water. Daily fluid intake is essential for our body to function at a homeostasis level. Without enough water flowing through our system to carry out the waste and toxins, we would literally drown in our own poisonous toxins waste. That's what would happen to us. Though water doesn't necessarily neutralize toxins, the kidneys do so. The kidneys do use this water to get rid of certain waste products. If you don't drink enough water, your kidneys don't have amount, enough amount of fluid that they need to do their job properly. 
In essence, the body would be holding in the toxins instead of removing them, expelling them from our body, which is required for proper health. No, not everyone should drink eight glasses of water. This is individualized. Some individuals need more, some individuals need less, and some just need extraordinary amount of more. This is all depends on your individual circumstances. What I don't want you to do is drink too little water, and what I don't want you to do is drink too much water. There needs to be a balance with drinking your water. Drinking too much water people with certain health conditions can put themselves at risk of complications if they drink too much water people with some heart conditions such as high blood pressure or swelling in their lower legs need to avoid excess water so if you've got a history of kidney problems especially if you had a transplant please consult your doctor before increasing your fluid intake so that's what needs to be addressed is not having too little or too much water. Water detox can be more effective than any other fussy or expensive so-called detox beverage, which is what I spoke about. You get those beverages and they're like, detox drink, detox shake. How about just water? <laughs> water carries nutrients to our cells, aids digestion by forming stomach secretions, flushes our bodies of waste and keeps our kidneys healthy. What more do you want? It keeps our moisture-rich organs such as our eyes, mouth, nose, skin functioning well. Remember skin is defense, so you need it. It lubricates and cushions our joints. It regulates our body temperature and our metabolism, just to name a few many functions. But one of the main ones I'm talking about today is detoxing. So there was a study done at the Red Hutchinson's Cancer Research Center in Seattle found that women who drank more than five glasses of water had a 45% reduced risk of colon cancer compared to women who drank two or few glasses of water. And, you know, cancer is caused due to your body not detoxing well. One of the causes is that. So this is showing a 45% reduction in this certain cancer if you drank just five glasses of water with these women. But before you go and drink your water, I want you to know, I want you to drink the best quality of water. I want it to be filtered. I want your water to be filtered. If you buy, I want it to be in a glass bottle and I want it to be filtered. Those are the th things that you need to consider when you are drinking water to ensure that your body is detoxing to its best ability. Another one I wanted to talk about is increase your glutathione. What is glutathione? You may or may not have heard about it. It's such a fancy name, glutathione. Well, if you haven't heard of it before, get on top of it as it is vital for detoxing, vital for optimal health. Glutathione is a protein that is involved in the body's process of detoxifying and protects cells against oxidative damage. And we know what oxidative damage does to our body. So glutathione is key. It is a conjugating compound, meaning it attaches itself to other compounds such as fat soluble toxins, yes, toxins, such as heavy metals and pesticides, which are then transformed into water soluble compounds so that the kidneys can flush them out of the body. So this is key for you to understand. So the glutathione comes along, here it is, it attaches itself to this heavy metal, making this that soluble toxin, water soluble, and then it can flush it out of the kidneys, flush it out into urine. You will not be able to flush it out until you make it into water soluble, and this is where glutathione assists with that. So high levels of glutathione can be found in fresh fruit, vegetables, walnuts, avocados, asparagus, and so forth. As humans, our body being absolutely amazing, we have a built-in natural detox system that works on a deep cellular level. This is the glutathione system. This is why I told you it is key. We know that upregulating all aspects of this system, the glutathione system, will help rid the body of toxins, especially heavy metals such as mercury. And we know there's a lot of diseases affected with high levels of mercury in your body and a lot of individuals have this. So by strengthening this glutathione system, we positively enhance all three phases of detoxifications in our liver, but in particular phase two and three. Obviously, one of the most direct ways to increase glutathione is via supplementations. There's a number of sprays, liquids that you can get put into under the tongue and glutathione is taken in which thankfully can be done with properly designed liposolum delivery system, which is what I spoke about, which is through your mouth. And what that means is it um, 
it doesn't it doesn't have to go through your digestive system it goes straight in so yes yeah, so you can increase your glutathione some sort of, by supplements if you wish to do so but i would talk to a professional before i would take any supplements to see if it is right for you if you want any more information about glutathione feel free to contact me um, let me know i may even do another video on it if you guys are interested in it the next one that will assist with your detoxing is increasing your fiber yes increasing your fiber fiber is key for essential health it is key for brain function it is key for good gut health it is just amazing who would have thought that something as simple as fiber can increase and assist you with your detoxing pathways elimination is the final step of detoxing and this is where fiber comes in which is the key player what is fiber fiber is simply carbohydrates that us human are not able to digest so consuming a high fiber diet could assist you with removing wastes from the body and reducing toxin load in our body which means it reduces the risk of reabsorbing these toxins. One way is simply by binding bile and then removing it from the body. Fat soluble toxins are more likely to be eliminated this way since they've been bound up in bile and bile is produced by our gallbladder. Fiber also aids in elimination of heavy metals through binding, binding to them and then moving them through the system out of our body. Other toxins may also bind directly to the fiber rather than the bile of elimination. So this is what we're saying is that fiber is key. There's similar things on a simpler level to glutathione where it binds to the toxins and then they leave. Some toxins we're exposed to every day include benzene, dioxin, formaldehyde, heavy metals such as lead, mercury, arsenic, um, persistent organic pollutants, pesticides and herbicides, solvents, um, air pollution, just to name a few. We're exposed to so many and if we knew we would just be in shock. We wouldn't want to wear a mask the whole time. We wouldn't even want to go outside. We wouldn't even want to breathe. <laughs> but this is where we just need to ensure that our body is detoxing well so it can eliminate these toxins. Although many studies do not specifically say the type of fiber required for improving biotransformational and elimination, or they merely look at one and do not compare to the others, some studies do point to the unique detoxification capabilities of different fibers. So now we'll look at a few studies, how fiber assists with the detoxification system. Well, one study found that consuming foods rich in dietary fiber reduced exposure to these toxins in in the cord blood when in, when a woman was pregnant they can check the cord and see how many toxins there were in there well if you ate foods rich in dietary fiber there was a reduced risk of toxins reduced toxin load in that cord wheat bran pectin and mercury another study looked at wheat bran pectin and mercury in their mouse study comparing wheat bran at 5, 15 or 30% of a diet, a 5% pectin diet or a 5% cellulose diet, the wheat bran led to an increased rate of mercury elimination. The 15 and 30% bran diets led to a decrease of the total mercury concentration in the blood, brain and small intestine, which results were only significant in a 30% bran diet. So this is showing the more fiber you have, the less concentration of toxins you have in the blood, brain, and small intestine. Another study looked at wheat, brain, and cadmium. So in this mouse study, a diet of 10% wheat brain led to a reduction in cadmium toxicity. The brain bound most cadmium ions and prevented cadmium from entering the organs. There was also a reduction in the negative effects of cadmium on the gut microbe. These studies are just crazy. Another one which looked at soluble fiber and bile acid. In one study on rats, soluble fiber increased the biliary excretion of bile acids, while insoluble fiber decreased the elimination of bile acids. In another study, guar gum, which I love, bound to bile acid, while oat bran, wheat bran, and cellulose did not. So this is saying that bile may contain some lipothelic toxins, so aiding the elimination of bile can also aid in the secretion of toxins. So fiber helps bile move, bile helps 
toxins remove out of our body. So all these studies that I just mentioned are just showing to us how fiber assists with eliminating these toxins out of our body. Either it binds to it directly or indirectly it helps bile flow more, which bile helps make the toxins into fat soluble and then it's able to get into the bile and move out. Or the other way, which is what glutathione does, it makes it into a water soluble and then it moves it out. So as we can see, these studies show to us how fiber directly or indirectly assists with elimination, the key process or the final stage process of detoxing. So what we can understand is that the conclusion is, is that fiber does aid in elimination of toxins, either directly or indirectly. So when you are increasing your fiber, go slow. Don't go out there and just put a lot of fiber in your diet go slow. Don't forget to drink plenty of water and other fluids to help these things moving through. Um, build up slowly, especially if taking a supplement form um, or prebiotic fibers. Go slowly. Don't just, yeah, don't just go wild and have all this fiber. There could be some issues there. So there you have it. Water, glutathione, fiber are three things that you can implement in your lifestyle right now to help your body detox at its best level. Forget about those crazy supplements. Forget about those crazy detox shakes, detox regimes. Just get more fiber in you, increase your glutathione levels and get more water in you. And that will help you help your body do what it's supposed to do. Help your body detox via skin, kidneys, immune system, liver, gallbladder, your digestive system, circuitry, lymphatic, it's made there. Your body is made to detox. So just help it out with water, help it out with glutathione and help it out with fiber. There you have it. Thank you so much for listening. If you find this interesting and know someone who would benefit from this, feel free to share this with them. I would love and appreciate that. Do what you do best. Love, like, share, rate. Thank you so much. Until next Monday. Love you.